Pretty Little Liars was a worldwide phenomenon with a rabid fan base. And we wanted it to feel different from the original. We wanted to tell a story about the sins of the mother being visited upon the child. Mom, everything okay? Yeah. Like mother, like daughter, does history repeat itself? Right when you think you've figured out the story, it completely takes a different direction. Yeah. Minds will be blown with what we're trying to do with the show. We wanted to lean more into sort of the horror genre, the slasher genre. Start the car. We knew that we wanted to bring A to life in a very different way. The direction we went was making A a slasher villain akin to Michael Myers. The fact that this killer has no face, has no name, is sort of almost like an implacable force of nature. Is everyone seeing what I'm seeing? All that adds to the sort of uncanny sense of dread. I don't want any drama. Me neither. Everywhere these girls turn, there's a threat. The internal horror being these very real, grounded terrors that happen to women every day. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you recording her? She wants me to, Get right? Over. All of our Pretty Little Liars do have a core trauma that they're contending with. You don't belong here. And have been alone, really, until they found each other. With Imogen Adams, Tabitha Hayworth, Baron Bryan, Noah Olivar, and Minnie Honrada, report to the principal's office, please. This show is highly stylized. Now, characters have modern things, but the look is inspired by horror films from the 70s and 80s. We built a lot of sets, and we started with uh, girls' bedrooms, because they define each character very specifically. They have such a specific vision, and the worlds that they create are so fantastic and rich, and it's just been really fun as an actor. We knew that we wanted a really diverse group of little liars from very different backgrounds, socioeconomic backgrounds, religious backgrounds. It's bringing in women from all walks of life, and I think that's beautiful. Maybe one of us should go up there? Yeah, maybe you should. All of our favorite slasher and horror movies from back in the day, almost all of them came from male directors who were making these movies with the male gaze. One of the most important elements of the show was flipping that horror gaze. In these horror films, women are predominantly shot from a higher angle. But framing somebody from slightly below their eye line gives them a little bit more power. We wanted it dynamic. We wanted it scary. I asked for a lot of impossible shots and angles. We just have such an incredible team, so many women. It's truly behind the scenes where that change is made. And it's fantastic to see classic horror genre stuff be spun and told with a new perspective. And action! I think fans should be really excited to meet this new generation of Pretty Little Liars. It is terrifying, but also emotional and fun. It'll be a hell of a ride.